Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Fallout 76 video on the channel. We have some pretty big news in terms of legendary modules from the PTS, which has been data mined from MapX in the Fallout 76 data mining community. The link for the Discord will be in the description. And to start with, I just want to explain that there is going to be some big crafting changes. If you've been following the news for Fallout 76, you will already know this, but if you don't, then basically what's happening is legendary cores are being removed. And in this video, I'm going to be explaining why it's such a cool thing that's coming in which i'm actually pretty much buzzing about so yeah basically they are getting removed in the new legendary crafting system where we can then choose the different legendary mods which we can then put on weapons and armor rather than just relying on a random kind of crafting system we can now have full reign of choices as long as we unlock the mods and the plans for said legendary prefixes now currently in the game you can get legendary cores from completing public events and with the removal of legendary cores now coming in with the new update coming September the 3rd we're now going to be getting this change to modules which is a pretty big change in my eyes let me know what you think down in the comments but these are changing slightly so before from uh, basically some of the yields would be different so on the colossal problem encrypted free range and project paradise these were the top ones where you get eight legendary cores you're now going to be getting five modules from these eviction notice again is getting a big nerf and it's dropping from eight cores per run to now only two modules pretty big drop in my opinion you're also going to be able to get two modules now from neurological warfare and scorched earth Free Range and Project Paradise will be giving you two to four modules depending on how you do during the event. In brackets, MapX has put two alive on both and presuming if you keep two alive you will get two modules and maybe if you keep all the animals alive and the Brahmin alive then you will gain four modules. As it stands, you get one to two cores. This is obviously going to be changing to one to two modules for Expeditions, the Meat Cook, Moonshine Jamboree, Most Wanted, Tunnel of Love. Other events as well as daily ops also including in this is keeping the one to three core ratio obviously going over to one to three modules. This includes the daily ops, one violent night, meat cook, fashnat, project paradise and free range are also included in this if you want to keep one creature alive and any other public event which hasn't been mentioned in the list you can see on screen. And thank you very much to MapX for sharing this information in the Discord. For me, I think this is a really big change. The fact that we're now going to be able to grind out modules from these events, making the grind a lot less kind of draining. You're going to build up a load over time, kind of like how you did with cores. If you're like me, you've probably got over a thousand cores stored up in your inventory just from completing events and stuff. So hopefully this means that we can craft legendaries a whole lot easier. Now there's still no kind of news on what's actually happening with the legendary cores once they get kind of somewhat removed i don't know if they're just going to sit in our inventories forever now or if they're just going to get completely wiped out of the game i think that would make more sense because it's one less file in the system to be sitting around taking up space i suppose but yeah we'll have to wait and see on that let me know down in the comments or what you think of these changes because for me like i said it's a pretty big change for now though that's it for this video thank you all for watching hope you enjoyed if you did hit the like button make sure to subscribe and check out the fallout 76 data mining discord in the description below. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.